Hi, I'm Michelle Vesley, the Administrative Assistant for the Shared Moravian Ministry Ohio, the congregations of Fry's Valley, Janet and Hutton, and Eurexville Moravian Churches. This is an introduction to the new phones, the Yaylink phones, that are at our churches. These are phones that use the internet and not traditional wires for their means of communication. The phones are all connected and we can talk from one church to another by dialing an extension and not the whole phone number. It's pretty exciting. I'll start by showing you the small screen on each phone. As you can see, the upper left-hand corner has a little phone with the number. That is your extension. There's a line, and then you'll see a word. On this one, it says distance, because it is our distance learning classroom phone. So it's extension 102, and it is in the distance learning classroom. Some of them will say kitchen, others will say office um, or vestibule. Whatever it says, that is designated to that spot. Below that information, you will see the time. Ours is currently set to military time. Below that is your day and date. Um, below that, you're going to see four options. You'll see history, 3CXP, DND, and menu. Your history button is your caller ID, and you can make calls from there. If, and I will show you how to do that in the, another video, but it's pretty handy. The 3CX button and the menu button don't really need to be worried about. Those are things that will be programmed and have currently been programmed, so they're not anything to worry about. The other one is DND. &D. That stands for Do Not Disturb. And we learned the hard way that if you press do not disturb, you will actually not receive any phone calls. They will go straight to voicemail, just like when your cell phone is turned off. Let's move to the, to the right. In the upper right-hand corner, you will see a little arrow. That arrow indicates that your phone is ready to be used. When we move over farther, you will see, and hopefully this will read up, a red blinking light. That blinking light indicates that there has been activity on the phone since the last time your call history was checked. It also could indicate that there is a message. So to get rid of that blinking light, all you have to do is check your call history. Um, and it says that I was the last one to call, which I was. And you can go back. And the red blinking light isn't blinking anymore. Call park is an interesting feature, and it's amazing. Um, and it's something that we will talk about in another video. I just want to introduce you to the phones right now. As we move down the phone, you will see message. This will be blinking if you have a message on this phone. Headset, we're not using headsets. Tran means transfer. If you have a call and it is for someone specific, you can actually transfer that call to that person. After transfer, you will see RD. That stands for redial. Handy to have. It takes you right to the last calls that you actually dialed from this phone. So it's pretty handy. Speaker button. You can use this as a speaker phone. You just press that, dial your number, and you're good to go. In the center, you will see this is arrows up and down to the right and to the left, and this is okay. These will allow you to navigate your screen more efficiently. Down here with the little button with the X is actually your mute. 
and here you have your volume bar. So when you look at the phone, now it won't be so scary. And I will be doing more videos to help you learn to use the phones. Thank you for watching and you'll hear from me soon.